Hey guys, what's up? Alright, I'm going to show y'all how I replaced the belt here on the John Deere E130. Obviously, you got to take the deck off. There's really no way around that. That's not hard. There's only this front draft arm. There's two arms that could connect on the back here. And then there's these that are on there that go on the side. You see that when you're underneath the mower. Anyways, it's only five places you have to disconnect, including the, uh, the blade and gauge cable. And, uh, let's see. I'm going to try to get under here the best way I can. So, it does require you to remove this front idler uh, pulley shaft and because you're not going to get around these pieces here these this belt guide that's built into the frame not how it used to be on my old uh, la120 used to be able to unbolt that there used to be a front piece you could unbolt you wouldn't have to take this whole idler pulley off uh, you always have had to you know make sure your wheels are centered and you have to take the steering gear down and then you pull your steering wheel up or try to keep it as straight as possible you have to try you have to pull it up and then you can get in there and pull the belt through because this is in the way of the belt it runs right right along like this so I'm, and then you come back here and you have your big pulley and your little pulley and it's best to put the parking brake on when you're taking this belt off so it releases the tension but on my old belt I just was looking at it and it would it came down to about right here below the frame so now one of the hardest parts is there's a little belt guide back here where is he I'm going to show y'all but there's that little this thing right right there and uh that's a really hard to do get that out that grease on me um anyways so once you get that that's half the battle is getting this little belt guide out of the, the top of the transmission there and then after you get that you're set to get it off but uh my old belt it's the original one um it's got some pretty good splits in it i mean it was getting time i was going to sharpen the blades today and i always check the belt and i said well today is the day i mean there's the split right there there's not much left and it would have given really quickly so i mean here's is you just go along it's just split 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 there's one part though that's not it's in yeah right here this stretch right here but yeah there's some pretty good gashes and gashes in it whatever you want to call it it's stretched it's done that's the oem that's the original belt and this is how many we're right at 420.0 hours on the clock so that's probably there's some idle time in there so that's probably about 370 hours worth of riding around uh mowing grass so that's that's pretty good and i decided well today it's cool it is rain it started to rain on me now more but um get in here and get this done because it's always a little bit of a process especially when you don't have like a lift a lot of people pick these up from the front and um so they can just stand right underneath right up next to it while it's up in the air at like a 90 degree angle and get to it but it just takes longer because yeah, i got to crawl in and out underneath here and these pulleys these are the old pulleys they weren't bad these bearings were starting to get a little bit they're not bad but they're starting to get a little bit of slop a little bit loose they kind of wiggle a little bit they weren't making a whole lot of noise but now i notice it's quieter underneath so 
Uh, I ordered a kit and it came with two new spindles to uh, pull these spindles, whatever you want to call them. And so we're all good. But anyways, thought I'd show you guys that. I got to get this thing put back together for the rain really sets in. So anyways, we'll see you guys later. Bye.